Hello everyone, this is Dan here with yet another showcase slash tutorial and today we'll be looking at infinite piston walls. So as you can see it's a veritable mass of piston, redstone and placer little blocks but it all works together so that when I go over here and press this button uh, twice it moves up forward and press it again and everything moves up exactly as it's supposed to. So if I go over here and uh, let's repeat the process it just place all these blocks in here yeah this does take a while and uh, realistically there you will need to build another one of these uh, sets of piston messes in between once you get far enough away and it does take a while but uh, yeah it is interesting because here we go here it goes once here it goes the second time and the entire thing moved forward there you go so yeah uh, this entire thing came about as a sort of byproduct from the new top secret project that Panda started off and uh, I'm currently working together with Panda, Cable, uh, Code Reader, JL and uh, there's some other guys that I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, I do remember at one point we had uh, like eight people on the same map working so you can tell this is big. Anyway, let's stop talking about that and before I spoil anything and to get back to the infinite piston walls. So the setup turned out rather simple but um, it took a while to make sure that all the butt effects from the redstone blocks, so as you can notice if I put another one here it turns on and another one here it turns on and worse still if I put another one here it also turns on so there's really weird and notice that the same is not true for the top one. So yeah there's really weird rules to go with the butt effects of pistons and redstone and everything. So all of that had to be taken into account if you wanted to stack these because in this one there would in fact be redstone above. So this is the bottom one and as you can see the redstone ones actually go here, here, here and here. No, here. So that redstone doesn't affect the bottom one and it doesn't affect it even when you start moving which is a bit harder to show but and also took a lot more time to figure out. And here pretty much the same thing so they go here here and uh, here and here so that all works fine but uh, now naturally I can do, just repeat that and it'll be stackable in 12 blocks but uh, I want to shrink it down so I found out a method that would shrink it down and yet uh, still work so the problem here is that this level would go right on top of this level and yet, as you can see, it's shifted around. So the redstone blocks actually go here, here, uh, here, and here. And you notice there's butt effects going down to the pistons. So that's not what we want, but it actually still works out because of the way the timings work for the pushing, as you saw before, it, you need to push it twice. So those blocks actually move forward at the same time as everything else moves forward. And because of everything else the way it works it still works and it's stackable with only six rows required so this thing over here is actually just two sets you can tell like here's the line over here so all of this up to here and all of that is a repeat and this is just the start of the third one just to show everything works all right that's enough about that in case you want to actually build it i would say that uh, please note that at the highest there's one two three four five six seven including this one that you need to push and it pushes one at this side so that's eight so you've got a maximum of uh, four blocks in between here before you have to start building the next set of pistons if you want to uh, you know uh, keep it going infinitely forward so after here you'd start with the same thing with all the pistons and all the creation for this engine yeah uh, note that if you're just using it to push blocks forward, it's actually a lot less because at the most, or a lot more blocks you can push because in here you've got only one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can actually put in two, three, four, five, six blocks that it can push at the maximum in front. And naturally these ones here, which are closer to the end, can push a bit more. All right, so that sort of explains it let's get over to the actual tutorial portion so let's just build up this uh, you don't need the glass it's just a way for me to visually show you which part is the engine and which part isn't but so yeah if you're doing this you don't have to build it 
But yeah, going down to the bottom, we place... Uh, yeah, I'm using fences. You can use just about any block, except for redstone or, you know, blocks that can't be pushed or break when you push them with pistons. But anyway, this is just uh, placeholder blocks that we use to move everything up forward a bit. Damn. Uh, stupid. Alright, sorry about that. I forgot that you start off from the very edge and then go up. Alright. You would place these four, located, place, like so, we place redstone at the bottom, we place placeholder, I use, in this case, wool, because, just to give it an explanation of where the redstone would be if we're doing this completely with redstone, but then it wouldn't work, so we use wool, then we set these up, there's two fences slash placeholder blocks directly in front of each one, it creates the sort of zigzaggy pattern, because of the pistons, then those are elongated then in the grooves we place pistons and at the bottom extended we place the redstone and the top extended we place the um, wool there you go then over here nothing in there so just like that and we close it off with two blocks of uh, these placeholder blocks all right that's one portion done we can just glass that off that's the start of whatever you want to be pushed there then we go to the next level. This level is also rather simple. We go with fences and we build in just a single indentation and just repeat the entire process exactly the same as we did. So those pistons in there, wool in there, extend with placeholder blocks slash fences to out from each block that you placed. Place the pistons inside these indents, place the redstone at the bottom out, and the wool on top, and finally we place the wooden fences here, only a single one because we want everything to line up accordingly with this glass wall here, then wall off the glass, and proceed to the next level. Now here is where you're saying you, I probably got it, you just repeat everything that you've done until now and just indent it, and that would be wrong because of the budding effects when you stack the next level everything would get messed up so here's slightly different we do the, exactly the same thing but we stack it differently so as you can see it actually goes like that with these placed on top of the pistons instead of following with the redstone being there so it's you can say it's kind of mirrored so we go with that go with that go with the pistons up there I forgot to add in the placeholder blocks for this level as well. We add in the wool. Uh, you, you can tell there's a pattern going on, and yes, there is in fact one going on. So just continue doing that. We are almost done. There we go. Then we place in the pistons, and we place in the redstone blocks. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. There we go. And we are done. So that's one set of the engines. You just need to repeat the same pattern going up, going to the sides to however large you want it. Make sure you've got all of that set up properly so you can push it. I would actually honestly suggest uh, figuring out a way to do it with uh, double piston pushers. I have no idea how honestly to do it as a wall of double pistons. Might look into it, but still something interesting. Because once you've pushed it in, there's a single line that you have to walk across and place all of this next setup to put in the next engine. And that's honestly, yeah, it takes a lot of work. Unless you want to push it in, push it in, push it in, break it, build another piston wall line, keep pushing it so that you already have the piston wall and to however long you want it and you can push it. Anyway, uh, blabbing on now. So just to show you here, this would be the next line, so that would be the very bottom most one. So we start it off and do the, exactly the same thing, so as you can see the piston goes there, the redstone goes there. Let's just repeat that. I won't actually be building it too high, so just a single line of it. If I was, the wool would go there and the pistons would go there. But yeah, uh, digress. There it goes there, that goes there, the redstone goes there, and uh, that just closes off. And don't tell me that I'm not building the second one because it would fail, because of course it wouldn't. There was no redstone blocks placed there, and everything afterwards is just a complete repeat of that.
and I have it set up there just to show you as well. All right, close that off and let's go over here for the moment of truth where we click the button, watch it proceed, and uh, yeah, so we click it again and everything goes forward exactly like we want it to. Uh, sorry, I apparently placed an extra fence into there, so that proceeded. Must have been an accident something like that. All right, let's do this again, and this time it will work out exactly the way it's supposed to. There we go. Add that in, add that in, put that last one in. Click the button, proceeds. Click the button again. Everything moves forward. We are exactly where we want it to be. All right, uh, not actually sure what use this would have and uh, we are not going to use it in the project we have going on because we found something a lot simpler and a lot better to work but yeah it's actually rather cool and i think it's quite an ingenious stack of redstone and piston blocks to make sure that they don't influence each other so yeah there you go and that's done and uh you know like, subscribe, uh, comment, all of that stuff. Actually, while we're on the commenting side, I'm thinking about what tutorial to do next. I've got several videos planned and lined up at the moment, but after that I'm thinking I might get back to the Iron Trench farms and uh, perhaps get out a tutorial of the my variation of Tango's Iron Trench or perhaps the X4 version of it. Or either that or the new gold farm that works in 1.7 so uh, leave a comment telling me which one you think I should do because I'll probably do one of those three and depending on which one you think is more interesting slash important so all right this is done it's been fun and uh, yeah like subscribe comment all of the fun stuff see you guys